What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Ron Panda here. Hey, I've ranted in the past about the United States Postal Service. They are terrible and competent and barely get me my mail. Um, but it's kind of funny because in recent weeks here, and I will even call it the last couple of months, the USPS has failed me so bad that not only has it cost me money, but it has cost other vendors money, and their incompetence is actually costing other people money. I could go into a long, detailed diatribe about this, but I'm going to save you some excruciating detail and just kind of give you the bullet points here. But it's kind of funny because I am not one for uh, trying to get into the political commentary of mail-in ballots. But I will tell you that big ticket items in boxes, packages, things that don't fall between the seats, things that don't get stuck in the mail sorter, those types of things that have gone completely missing, tracked one day almost to the final destination and have gone completely missing, gives me very little confidence that uh, that any piece of mail that I send. There's a meme out there that says, put $1,000 in cash in an envelope and mail it to yourself. And if you wouldn't do it, then you should vote in person. And now I'm starting to think that that's correct because the USPS, um, the process for mailing stuff should be a certain way. So I had not only a set of golf clubs, but a set of golf clubs that I sold because I bought a set of golf clubs, a set of clubs I sold, some individual clubs that I sold off. I also ordered some chairs, which I'm waiting on to do a review for my main channel. And all of these appear to be lost. And there's some issues with this. First of all, when you send something priority mail and it's supposed to go two days, not 20 days later, and it's still just lost in the system. I put in the tickets. They send you this form letter that says, hey, we're looking. Sometimes they even send me a letter, an additional form that says, can you please give us more information? Describe the contents of the box, which makes me think that someone's opened it or something because I don't understand it. Uh, one of the excuses I got was maybe the label fell off. Mm, the label didn't fall off. But here's why it's annoying. It's because when I send it priority mail, it includes some insurance. And if you lose it, USPS, and that package is insured, I don't give a rip about what the process is. But you should reimburse me for the insurance. So what's funny is because now they've lost some and they're asking, well, can you prove that it was worth that much? It doesn't matter. I paid in the price of the postage for the insurance coverage that you provided me. And I tell you what, in most of these cases, I am underinsured on it. Like some of these priority mail packages only go up to hundred bucks, which is really annoying, especially um, on an eight or $900 set of golf clubs or a $700 chair, or, you know, even on the low end, I sold off some of my wedges, my Wilson staff wedges, some of the brand new stuff, brand new, 130, $140, $150 wedges. And now they're only insured up to hundred bucks. So first of all, I don't think I should have to prove that back to you. They are insured. I paid the premium for the insurance. You should just be cutting me my uh, insurance check right away. Yet, have yet to receive anything from USPS other than form email, right? The other problem with this is that it is costing vendors and the economy money in a way that where the guy that bought my wedge, I said, listen, I don't know where it is. I have put in a request. I've um, called my local post office, talked to the postmaster there to see if that does anything. I think it just pisses people off, but I don't know where it is. And obviously you didn't get it. That's not your fault. And I'm refunding money. So uh, right now I'm sitting, uh, I'm out, uh, I'm on the hook for the lost um, package. And in fact, even if they were to reimburse me, I'd still probably be out about 40 bucks all in, maybe 50 with shipping. So my other issue is that it's also happened on the other end where I haven't gotten something, namely a set of golf clubs. Um, the shipper has to put in the claim for the insurance and they aren't getting it. And they are refunding me because I didn't get obviously my package either, right? So basically because a provider isn't providing their service or maybe uh, things are going out the back door, falling off the back of the truck, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. But because of that, it's costing me money, it's costing vendors money, and everyone is eating this except for the post office. So far, I have yet to see a dime for multiple packages. Uh, bet between the packages that I've sent that have been apparently lost and the packages that I'm waiting on to um, on stuff I bought so that I can share with you, uh, I, I am aware of at least five packages that USPS has lost. And again, these are not envelopes, these are packages. So I want to tell you that probably as of three or four weeks ago, I have stopped sending anything valuable or in a package format via USPS. They are all going FedEx Smart Post, which I will tell you what, 
other than not having them pick it up, I think you can. You know, we have a FedEx store um, relatively close to me, and it's kind of nice. But again, you have to get in line. You have to be socially distanced. You have to put your thing on the counter. You have to tell them what it is. They'll scan it, maybe give you a receipt or whatever. But the price point doesn't seem to be any higher. Um, it may be more convenient or less convenient, depending on where you're at, you know, and the location of your post office. But the tracking seems to be good. FedEx doesn't seem to be losing any packages. I will say that they have admitted that sometimes their delivery rates are smaller. I think it's home delivery and smart post are kind of their cheaper end package services. And they're not going super fast. I would say, you know, anywhere from five to 10 days on delivery. You know, I, I get it. You know, everyone's shipping everything. Mail order is at an all-time high, those types of things. But at least they have gotten everything that I've shipped with them um, to their destinations, unlike USPL, USPS, which, you know, I remember seeing a, a stat one time, a long time ago, and it was something like, if the post office lost just 1% of the mail, it would be 4 million pieces of mail a day or something like that. I'm, I'm making up the number. I don't remember what it was. And I'm like, yeah, dude, that sounds about right. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's always weighted in your mind based on what you're waiting for. Because I don't know what small envelopes or junk mail I'm supposed to be getting, right? It may all be lost. Someone may be just dumping it in a parking lot or burning it in an incinerator. Who knows? But I'm not expecting it. So I don't know that I'm not getting it. But when you're waiting on important packages, things that are costly, you know, things that I'm paying out of pocket for or that I'm going to have to eat, these are extremely painful losses, I mean, like I said, right now I'm probably somewhere in the ballpark of, you know, a thousand or eleven hundred dollars in total actual monetary losses thanks to the post office not doing their job. So I am pissed about it. I don't know if there's a backlog that it's got to get through. In one case, the package was only, it was a priority mail package from Detroit to Chicago. It got to the Chicago Processing Center and then disappeared. And that was the last scan on that was August 8th. So here we are, September 9th, a month later, and it still has never shown up anywhere. It's so weird. So weird. Trusting the post office? Sure. You know, with that um, happy sweetest day card to your ex-girlfriend from middle school? Yeah. Send that USPS. But if you actually give a rip about it, if it's anything that you care about getting to the to its destination, not even on time, just getting to its destination, don't use the Postal Service. Not at the moment. That's my rant for today. Peter Ron Panda, out.